Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Scorpio. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. So let's start with love here. Let's see what's going on uh, in love for you, Scorpio. All right, let's see. What do we have for Scorpio in terms of love? Okay, friendship. So you could... Uh, Someone from your past, you could have said, you know, let's try to maintain some level of likeness or friendship here. You also could uh, just be entertaining people, but it hasn't gone to boyfriend or girlfriend type of level. You could have friends with benefits. I knew it. Friends with benefits here with the control card. The control card talks about maybe sex and, you know, trying to keep something under control in terms of maybe, um, you know, friends, benefits is the sex here fair male it could be someone who's younger or of lighter ethnicity wallflower um somebody's not getting out there and really putting themselves out there to meet anyone here past life somebody's still thinking about maybe a past relationship and the freedom that maybe another person has somebody feels a level of drudgery or duty or obligation to something yeah open relationship um travel in short term okay so um somebody feel is feeling a little bit depressed about how things are going somebody could be keeping up a friends with benefits type of relationship here and they're aware of it and it's making them depressed in their relationship uh they're looking at how the relationship was in the past or how they were in the past or how they maybe they had done this to someone else how they kept an open relationship where they kept no strings attached relationship and now someone is doing it to them especially when they leave or they travel or they go away somebody feels like there is somebody someone's hooking up with somebody when they go elsewhere when they go and do this somebody go so when somebody travels around they bring a third party into their bedroom and this is what the couple does so both parties are consenting and they know about it somebody gets a lot of attention and somebody explores that attention with their partner so there could be some you know third party situations happening together there's also an energy of somebody, someone is like, look, I know there's someone else, especially when you go travel to this place or when you do this or you want to be with the person from your past. Let's see what the future energy holds for Scorpio. Okay, for Scorpio. Lovers. So definitely... There's somebody here where it is just sex only. It's friends with benefits for whatever reason. It could be that you do this with your partner. It could be that one of you are doing it by yourselves with another person. But there's still a relationship here that's solid, that's stable, the house. So it's like some of you are doing this together. And then some of you are doing this away from your relationship, away from your partner. Let's see what career and finance brings for Scorpio. Career and finance. Career and, okay, wow, very nice. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Queen of Wands, the Five of Cups. All right, so. There could be opportunity to maybe start an at-home business. This is like an entrepreneurial endeavor. It's going to free up time for you. You'd have more time to do what it is you want to do. You feel like this is your life purpose. You feel like this thing has been calling you for a very long time to come toward it. And you're going to have to leave something else behind. You're going to have to drop something else. Also, there could have been some disappointment in this, this endeavor. But it says keep moving forward. You can recover 
the situation is recoverable. Don't get um, downtrodden by the fact that, oh, this one thing didn't happen or you spent too much money over here and it didn't pan out well. You didn't get, you know, make a profit. Move forward. Yeah, move forward. Ace of Wands, put more energy, effort, time, motivation behind this. Throw your hat in the ring. That means if you're throwing your hat in the ring, there are other hats in the ring. Be up for the competition. Be up for the challenge, says the Ace of Wands. Get started on something. More importantly, the Ace of Wands says do something. So you have to do something, all right? Um, you got two aces here. So you have a yes answer in terms of career and finance. Wow, the, the Will of Fortune. It's trying to turn for you. It says you, you get some prime opportunity to make something happen in this time space. It says that destiny, perfect timing is happening for you. But they want you to uh, move on something, move in something, move, make a move, make a move, maybe even move the chariot card. Uh, get organized, get uh, functional, get in control of your mental and emotional uh, capacity and then move forward direct all of that energy into you the chariot card is a very good card for career and finance because it's a very self-centered very focused card you're not focused on love you're not focused on anything else you're focused on achievement achievement over hurdles obstacles okay the underdog um taking something in a new direction okay Achievement because you, you steered something in a new direction. So maybe you have to go in a new direction. It says that you can receive so much, you know, work, so much um, success. It talks about cracking under the own, your, the weight of your own success here. It says that there is going to be hard work, uh, duty, obligation, drudgery, but keep at it because you don't know where this is taking you. You just know that you're carrying it. You're doing it. This is really good in terms of career and finance. Uh, keep at what you're doing. Um, this could take you a, a very while. Wow. As I say that, as I was about to say it too, it can, um, you know, lifelong goals. If you just stay in this energy. Okay. Uh, stay in the energy of just making it happen. Um, being on autopilot says the 10 of wands just day in day out keep doing the same thing keep showing up keep carrying the torch the burden here because it's going to take you to a place of rest of abundance and over abundance and an overwhelming amount this is what i have for you if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section uh also Check me out live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, if you would like to learn the tarot with me, you can. The classes are linked below. The first class starts December 27th. Excited about that. Come learn with us. Also, if you are in the giving spirit, the Amazon wish list is below. If you want to give to the channel, you can. Uh, also, if you have a question or two, you can text your question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. And if you just want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website, book there. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.